Hi guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a very exciting vlog. It's currently 9 p.m. I'm leaving for the airport at 1 a.m. and I just about finished my packing. Packing for a ski trip definitely proved difficult. I would have considered myself quite a good packer in general until I had to smash loads of massive ski gear into a 20 kilo bag. Actually there's 30 kilos in total but I think I just about fitted it in. So this is the current packing situation. I think I'll be able to close this one for sure, but my big bag, I don't know. She's looking rather thick, as you can see, like I've squeezed a helmet in here, I have massive ski suits, and this side of the bag is very, very full right now, so we're gonna have to check in a minute if it's actually gonna close, but I'm just about packed and ready. I have my little CMM Fitness travel bag. I call this a gym bag, guys. It's honestly the best size travel bag ever. It fits under the seat on the plane, which is ideal. I've sort of sat here for the last 10 minutes or so debating whether I should try sleep or else just accept the fact that my sleep is gonna be ruined anyway from traveling through the night. So I think I'm just gonna stay awake and finish up some client work and get bits done before I go. We are flying from Dublin. So we have a two and a half hour drive to Dublin, then a flight to Geneva, and then a three hour bus transfer from Geneva to France, like to the chalet that we're gonna be staying at. I'm actually most excited about that little bus transfer because we're gonna be driving through the Alps, which is absolutely incredible. I'm just so excited for this trip. I got my hair done a while ago. I got new extensions in. Huge thanks to Vibe Hair Salon. I went for Platinum, the Power Collection extensions, and they're actually really nice so far. Obviously, I'm gonna to have to keep them in for another bit until I can give you a proper review on them, but they're really thick and they're also super shiny. So yeah, so far so good with the extensions. My apartment is an absolute bomb right now, as you can see with the cases. I'm not even gonna show you my bedroom right now. It looks like something actually exploded in it. I said that in my last video as well, and believe it or not, I cleaned up the last explosion of clothes and there's another one after building already in the space of literally two days. Also, in my last video, I noticed in my clips that my face kept coming like in and out of focus, which is really annoying. I'm gonna try fix that for this vlog. I'm gonna have a play around with the camera while I'm on the way to Dublin and see if I can like fix the focus on it. But apologies in advance if I'm coming in and out of focus. It's not your eyesight, it's just my camera lens that I haven't figured out how to use yet. One thing that's definitely gonna be different about this trip for me is that I probably won't be training, which is gonna be strange. Like even when I'm traveling, I basically always stick to my same routine and I'd like adapt my workout routine to whatever gyms I have access to. But this time I've been told that I probably won't want to train, that I'm gonna be exhausted from the skiing anyway. So that's definitely gonna be different for me this week. I'm taking a full week off the gym. I can't remember the last time I did that. But to be honest, I'm sort of coming to the end of this workout rotation. I'm on week 16 of my current workout plan. So I would have sort of scheduled a deload around now anyway. Although I don't think this week is gonna be much of a deload i'd imagine it's going to be super super active which is very exciting anyway i'm going to try close that bag and i'm going to finish up a bit of work maybe watch a little bit of netflix and wind down before we hit the road Okay guys, so tried to sleep and failed. So Danielle and Steven are actually gonna pick us up early and we're just gonna to get to the airport early because Danielle and Steven were just waiting in their place. I was just sitting on the couch here on my own. I tried to sleep and failed. So we just thought we may as well hit the road and wait at the airport instead. So that's the plan. This is today's airport fit. Very comfortable for traveling in. I have a jacket as well. I left out my like little ski jacket, mainly because I couldn't actually fit it in my bag, but I'm gonna be well wrapped up for when I land. And I managed to fit everything else in here. Right, we are waiting for Queen Kiki to arrive. She's actually on time for once. We're all on time. We're early. Yeah, actually early for a flight, can you imagine? Well, well, well. <laughs> <laughs> Love you! Oh my Daniel. god, it's been so long! <laughs> Aww. And I was like, hello. Are you ready to hit the slope? You ready to break your ankles? Let's do it. My sister broke her ankle the first time. She went to her ski, I swear to god. That's gonna be us.
Right guys, so it is a new day. As you can see, I'm changed. I took yesterday as like a little bit of a day to find my feet, see if I could actually ski and just get familiar with my surroundings. But I'm picking back up my camera today and I'm gonna bring you along. First 10 minutes, not gonna lie, I thought I was gonna have the worst week of my life. I really struggled with it. Yeah? It'd be cool if I wore this Yes, and you could go between us. Think that would go, hello you vlog. <laughs> so right now we're wearing the most impractical ski gear ever. We're going for like a Power Ranger vibe. Yeah. But then we get into all our like ugly, puffy, warm stuff. Yeah, and we turn into marshmallows. <laughs> yeah, Michelin <laughs> men. We go for Power Rangers, <laughs> Michelin <laughs> men in 10 seconds. Are you changing? Danielle, me and Dan are matching. Oh, it's minus 10 today. Yeah, yes. is it yeah. minus 10? It's minus 10 today. Oh it's my God. Oh yeah, I'll go down to the bed. But yeah, 10 minutes in. I was struggling, I'm not gonna lie. I was like, oh my God, what have I done? I can't ski, I couldn't stop. I didn't know how to stop or turn or anything. I did no lessons and I was panicked. But within like 20 or 30 minutes, I got into it and I thoroughly enjoyed it. The only downfall is that I'm covered in bruises, but we move. It's all part of the fun, isn't it guys? So I didn't bring my camera to the slopes for obvious reasons, because I spend the majority of the time breaking my ankles, <laughs> knees, neck, you name it. Break my back too. But we have transitioned onto a new slope. Well, this is my our second day on this slope. It's a big slope. Is it our second day here? Yeah. The girls and all the rest of the lads went to the bigger slopes, but I just don't oh, have the confidence slopes. yet. But um, yeah. we're getting there. We're, we're getting, getting there. there. There's kids that are way better than us too, guys. It's kind of embarrassing, isn't it? It's not really like they're like Olympians. I know they're they ninjas. They there was one of them came up, slid into me, and did. They're top eight. Get the snow off her. They're, they're top eight. Yeah, she said yeah. top eight. Yeah. Starting to snow, and actually one thing. Bye -bye. Today is much easier because it's actually snow. Yeah. It's less like icy. Yeah. Less like ankle breaking business yeah. going on. But we're going to go and get like a hot chocolate, cup of tea, potentially a glass of wine. Crepe. Crepe? Yeah. Crepe. As crepe. Guys would say. We're going to get a chocolate crepe. Comment below, guys. Is it crepe or crepe? It's a crepe. It's a crepe. The lads were calling it a chocolate crepe. crepe. Creepers. This and is our little local spot that we I come to each day. Yeah. We get coffee and we always get these like salted crepes. So I'm gonna get like a breakfast crepe. I got a ham without the cheese <laughs> and eggs. We need to see this <laughs> Kiki got a video of me falling on the slope. She's loading. Thank you so much. <laughs> Why does it take me two hours to fall? Because <laughs> you let I, the skis go. It took me so long. <laughs> I, I, my mind made up that I was going down on my ass and, like, before well, I even got in. Before you even went onto the slope. <laughs> so, this is my little morning snack. <laughs> She's a bit of a thick snack. So, Danielle got a Nutella crepe. I got this salted crepe with ham and eggs in it. And I don't know what this is. Looks like mayo or something, is it? Salad. Um, we got coffee and Kiki got... I got nothing. I had two breakfasts this morning. Yeah, you did. You had mm -hmm. crepes, breakfast. And I had scrambled eggs and bacon. I, I just had my corn cakes this morning. I so we're going to tuck into this name. So I just went to give you an apartment tour and the place is just absolute chaos because everyone's getting ready for the slopes. But it's quiet now. So I'm going to give you a quick look around. The chalet is so cute. So this is our main living area. So you can see we have a lovely big dining table which I love, like one of my favorite things to do is just sit around this table and chat with the gals and the guys. This is the kitchen, which is a little bit messy, like the bin situation isn't the cutest, but it'll do. This is the view from our kitchen window. How cute. And this is where we all sit around and have the chats and the banter. And then the bedrooms are on either side, so it's actually kind of a weird setup because there's two bedrooms which both have showers attached to them, but one communal toilet, which isn't pleasant. And then we have the other two bedrooms down this direction, so that's Dan and Stephen's room. As you can see, tidy enough, which is typical of Dan and Stephen. Shower room in here, and then we have like these tiny little bathrooms. <laughs> I wanna get cozy. Wanna come over. I wanna get moving. Yes. Yeah. 